Light. It's all around us, but what is it, where does it come from, and what does light have to do with color? Hi, I'm Ryan Riker. I am a sixth grader at Baden Academy and a research fellow in the Media Lab. My project this year was to design and paint a new mural in the lab. It was to be a sun with teaching tools to review the electromagnetic spectrum mural in the Media Lab. The project took me on a journey that included the tremendous art and imagery of our sun and the science of energy and light. I collected images of the sun, those taken by the telescopes of NASA and those painted by the artists past and present. Much of my inspiration came from this limited edition print of Enlightened Sun Painting by Shady Desjardins. This photo inspired me the most. If you have seen my mural, you can see the resemblance between them. This photo helped me with texture. Researching the EM spectrum was a challenge. I had no idea of the energy produced by our sun and how it travels in wavelengths throughout our solar system and into the universe. The light that comes from our sun, so bright to us, is only seen only as another star in the sky from our nearest star. That light is a kind of energy called electromagnetic radiation. It is made when matter is heated up or gains energy. Excess energy is released in part as light. Light with a longer wavelength, like radio waves, has less energy, while light with a shorter wavelength, like gamma rays, has more energy. When I say longer wavelength, I mean the bumps are farther apart, and when I say shorter wavelength, I mean the bumps are closer together. Visible light occupies a narrow slice of the electromagnetic spectrum between infrared and ultraviolet. In my mural, we put the visible light wave running into the projector because it uses visible light. When you look at my mural, you can see the name of the wavelengths ha have the wavelengths before and after it. In our lab, radio waves have a special significance. Our dragon tags operate on an RFID, that is radio frequency identification. We partner in with our RAIN RFID in advocating our ultra high frequency UHF RFID. We also talk a lot about the visible spectrum. One of our school's kindergarten teachers and my mentor writes about the visible spectrum and what we perceive as color. Her kindergarten students learned about RGB, red, green, and blue, LEDs that make over 16 million color combinations on a computer screen. They converted these to a hexadecimal code and researched their favorite Crayola colors before making computer art. Her second book focused on the experiments of Sir Isaac Newton, who d demonstrated the different wavelengths of each color. Can you see how we use RGB in our sun mural? I leave you with images from NASA and more from Mabel Loomis Todd's 19th century reflection of total eclipses of the sun. Then, with frightful velocity, the actual shadow of the moon is often seen approaching. A tangible darkness advancing almost like a wall. Swift as imagination, silent as doom. The immensity of nature never comes quite so near as then. And strong must be the nerves not to quiver as the blue-black shadow rushes upon the spectator with incredible speed. A vast, palpable presence seems to overwhelm the world. The blue sky changes to gray or dull purple speedily becoming more dusky and death-like trance seizes upon everything earthly. Birds with terrified cries, fies bewildered for a moment and then silently seek their night quarters. Bats emerge stealthily. Synthes of flowers, the scarlet pimpernel, the African mimosa, close their delicate petals and a sense of hushed expectancies depends with the darkness. An ensembled crowd is awed into absolute silence, almost invariably. Often the very air seems to hold its breath for sympathy. At other times, a lull suddenly awakens into a strange wind, blowing with a natural effect. Then out upon the darkness, gruesome but sublime, flashes the glory of the incomparable corona, a silvery, soft, unearthly light with radiant streams, stretching at times millions of uncomprehended miles into space, while the rosy flaming 
Though turbances skirt the black rim of the moon in ethereal splendor, it becomes curiously cold. Dew frequently forms, and the chill is perhaps mental as well as physical. Suddenly, instantaneous as a flash, a lightning flash, an arrow of actual sunlight strikes the landscape, and earth comes to life again.